Take creatine and this happens to your body. If you're into sports and fitness, especially weightlifting, then there's a good chance that you've heard of creatine supplements. The human body naturally produces creatine using many amino acids. However, the organic amount isn't usually enough to stimulate the desired effects many people are wishing for, such as increased muscle mass and better performance. This is where creatine supplements come in. The good news is that creatine is one of the most studied ergogenic supplements today. It's a supplement that truly offers benefits back with many scientific data and research. But what's the catch? Well, it turns out that there are both advantages and risks to taking synthetic creatine. Discover what these are in this video. So don't go just yet and keep watching. The Pros Number 1. Increases Muscle Size and Strength A creatine supplement gives additional fuel to your muscles, allowing you to exercise with more intensity and for longer periods. Such gains of strength and sprint speed can go up to 15%. Although creatine doesn't build muscle, it does boost the body's ability to build muscle, providing remarkable gains compared with solely doing resistance training. Undoubtedly, creatine promotes strength gains and helps build lean body mass in both men and women. It's also among the few legal supplements that can amplify muscle mass when combined with exercise. And it's not only the most effective among those few legal substances, but it also has the most scientific support. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Number 2. Improves Athletic Performance One of the top reasons athletes use creatine supplements is because it stimulates the body to produce more energy. And the more energy they have, the harder they can work and the more they can achieve. In particular, a study has revealed that creatine supplementation during high-intensity interval training helped improve fitness performance. Creatine increases the production of phosphocreatine in the body, an essential element in the production of energy. The same compound is also integral in boosting athletic performance in exercises of varying intensities at different times. Furthermore, researchers suggest that creatine is among the most effective supplements when used for high-intensity training. Number 3. Speeds up muscle damage repair and recovery According to studies, creatine is beneficial for repairing damaged muscles brought by athletic activities. Through creatine supplements, it can increase the level of glucose transporter that's found in striated muscle and prevent the reduction of this protein as the muscles repair themselves after an injury. In other words, taking creatine during rehab after an injury can enhance the muscle tissue's ability to efficiently produce energy and prevent fatigue. Although the strength and size of muscles can decline during immobilization periods, supplementing with creatine can quicken recovery on both of these factors. This then gives you strength during rehabilitation, which in turn reduces the amount of time you're away from your exercise regimen because of an injury. As you age, you naturally lose some muscle, but there's something creatine can do about it. Here's how. Number 4. Prevents Adult Muscle Loss Creatine has been shown to boost strength in older people when used alongside strength training exercise. It's also been found to help slow down the rate of sarcopenia or the loss of muscle function and strength that comes with natural aging. Sarcopenia is believed to affect 5 to 13 percent of over 60s. It has also been linked to physical disability, poor quality of life, and increased risk of dying. Thus, taking creatine while weightlifting can benefit your muscle health. Number 5. Boosts Resistance to Fatigue Another pro of taking creatine is that it can aid resist the effects of fatigue from exercise or other athletic activities. Based on six-month studies on patients who had a brain injury, those who supplemented with creatine had a 50% reduction in vertigo when compared to those who didn't have creatine. Furthermore, creatine may ease fatigue in the case of sleep deprivation and heat-related fatigue. Number 6. Regulates Blood Sugar Levels Although uncommon, studies have found that creatine is indeed beneficial in maintaining healthy blood sugar levels, and by doing so helps prevent diabetes. Researchers have shown that people who take creatine had an increase in protein that distributes glucose in and out of cells, which can be associated with improved glycemic control. Taking creatine can also trigger changes in blood sugar by altering the body's responses to the insulin present in the bloodstream. As a result, it can reduce blood sugar levels. The advantages are incredibly impressive, eh? So will you now be taking creatine? 
But wait, why don't you hear the other side first? Despite how safe and well-studied creatine is, there are still some concerns regarding the supplement. Let's understand them better so you can make a smart decision. The risks and side effects. Number one, can cause weight gain. One issue you should be aware of when taking creatine is the likelihood of gaining weight. Research shows that creatine supplementation causes water retention, which is then followed by weight gain. This observation was seen mostly during the initial stages of taking the supplement or the loading phase, where high doses of creatine are taken. And so, it can cause some to feel bloated. Strictly speaking, it's not really a huge disadvantage except for the discomfort some people may feel. Plus, the weight gain subsides. Also, if not, then the weight gain is typically due to increased muscle mass and not fat. Number two, might affect the kidney. When the creatine from supplements is metabolized inside the body, compounds called metabolites may be filtered by kidneys and excreted in the urine. The more supplements you take, the greater the number of metabolites become, which can put excess stress on the bladder and kidney. Consequently, it can potentially increase the risk of kidney stones and kidney damage. That said, there are very limited studies into the relationship between creatine supplements and kidneys. But if you have kidney disease or any problem with your kidney function, it's advised to check with your doctor before taking creatine supplements. Other less severe adverse effects of creatine have also been found based on anecdotal reports but haven't been widely studied. Thankfully, there weren't any major side effects. Some of these conditions can also be caused by taking too many vitamins. Abdominal pain, muscle cramps, nausea or diarrhea, dehydration. Again, those are from anecdotal reports. Moreover, creatine is one of the most researched sports supplements available today. There is also no published literature suggesting that it's unsafe. Some may experience side effects, but nothing too concerning. Not all creatine supplements are created equal. For this reason, it pays to know which form you should go for. Get to know the best form of creatine supplements to try here. What is the best form of creatine? When adding a supplement to your diet, make sure it's creatine monohydrate. Many supplements are made of tons of unnecessary junk. On top of that, they're more costly. For instance, watch out for pre-workout supplements that are advertised as having creatine. Unfortunately, many of them don't have the minimum amount of creatine proven to be effective. Thus, the powder is the best and safest way to go. Ideally, buy a 100% pure creatine powder. Some manufacturers add electrolytes and other ingredients, but such add-ons do little to improve performance. Therefore, just buy pure creatine powder. You won't just save money, but you get the most out of the benefits of the nutrient. Simply mix the powder with fruit juice and you're good to go. Fruit juice is good because the sugar in it elevates insulin levels, which aids in boosting creatine uptake into the muscle. One of the most common questions about supplementing with creatine is the time you should take it. We're going to answer that for you here. When should you take creatine? Supplements like creatine can enhance your muscle mass and help you get stronger. Studies show that taking creatine shortly before or after your workout is the best time for maximum benefit. Doing so would give you large bursts of energy when performing a high-intensity activity. How often should you take creatine? Some might not realize it, but there's an optimal way to take creatine that will give you maximum benefits. Evidence and research suggest that creatine is most effective during a loading phase. The typical loading period is 20 grams of creatine per day, divided into 2 to 5 equal doses for 7 days. After that, it's followed by 21 days of 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day. According to clinical studies and users' reports, following the loading phase gave them more dramatic results from creatine, compared to just taking the maintenance dose for a longer period. Now that you've learned the benefits and risks of taking creatine, what's your decision? Will you take it or is it going to be a no this time? Drop your answers and comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.